cream and cronuts yum they're all diet busting guilty pleasures and believe it or not you can have them all yes all without the guilty part sky estroff with taste of atlanta joins us now to talk about her top vegan indulgences thank you so much for joining us sky thank you for having me sharon i've got a lot of great stuff to share yes yes and we want to know about it so you're talking about a good place to find a good hamburger a good vegan hamburger and you won't even miss the beef Yes, there are places that are completely challenging the thought that vegan food can be bland yeah. and boring and only a salad, which blows my mind too. And one of the best spots to find amazing vegan food right now is called Slutty Vegan. <laughs> it used to just be a food truck. I know the name is hilarious. I know. Uh, <laughs> it used to just be a food truck, and now they opened a restaurant in Westview, too. Um, and one of their over-the-top burgers is their namesake burger. It's an impossible burger loaded up with vegan cheese, jalapenos, guacamole, caramelized onions, lettuce, tomato, and their signature sauce on a vegan Hawaiian bun. It Ooh. is technical. I hear everybody it's, talking about it on social media too, so I'm gonna have to check it out. Next you have gelato. Uh, Everyone loves gelato, but sometimes the dairy doesn't love us. So where can we find a good gelato? Vegan that okay. is. So that's a great question because this is a really funny story. This place, Revolution Gelato, the first time I tasted it, I didn't know there was a difference. I had no idea it was vegan. I decided it was my favorite gelato and I have not looked back. Um, so Revolution Gelato, they make it in Atlanta. They sell it at all Whole Foods and Publix and they wow. have a whole location map on their website. But I tell you what, the must order is their darkest chocolate. It is so creamy Ooh. and silky. And if you like chocolate like me, that is a number one order. Oh, definitely. And who doesn't love a cronut, a perfect marriage between croissants and donuts? And you say that we can actually get a vegan one? Okay, tell me where, Sky. where? Yeah, Sharon, we're going after this segment, so just prepare yourself. <laughs> yes. Um, but <laughs> there is a place called Five Daughters Bakery, and they are at um, Pond City Market. They're in one of the back stalls in the cool little area. Um, but they just open in the West Side Provisions area, too. And they're famous for, like you said, those really thick layered mix mm. between a croissant and a donut. A hundred layers. And oh. you can ask for any flavor in a vegan in a vegan cronut. They come in vegan and non-vegan. And they just announced a new flavor for summer okay. this week. So it's going to be lemon poppy seed. Oh, and I love I, it. A can of lemon poppy seed. So I think it's going to be delicious. But right. they have a lot of flavors. You can check them all out online. Definitely going to do it. Definitely going to do it. Thank you, Sky. I'm going to check it out. Appreciate it. And you guys, Thanks. be sure to follow Sky Estrop on social media. Up next, it is 1049, and we're going to have our 